So here's the deal. Guess what? You should tell the truth. You should tell the truth. And you know what? The truth is... Dave, let's debrief. What do you got? And said, every problem you have, if you dig deep enough, if you peel it back enough, eventually you'll find out how you are causing that problem, how you are contributing. Every problem you have, if you dig deep enough, you will eventually find out how you are, how you are causing it, which is a good thing because that means then you can fix that. So there's, there's this whole uh, concept of telling the truth, right? Telling the truth, tell the truth. And you can take that to extreme, right? Of, hey, listen, I am going to tell the truth and that is the best solution. And uh, Sam Harris, fr- a friend of mine, he's like 100%, like you need to tell the truth about what's happening. So you run into the sort of, what is what is the expression that Sam Harris and other people use to do? It's, oh, it's, it's a thought experiment, right? That this is the term, thought experiment. We'll do a thought experiment on this. So like, you know, a thought experiment is, okay, if your wife asks you, you know, how does dinner taste that your wife cooked for you, right? And the dinner didn't taste good, well, should you tell the truth? Because the truth is the dinner doesn't taste good. And so, and I know I've always said, well, you know, here we are, we gotta think strategically, right? We gotta think strategically. Tactically, you might be telling the truth, strategically it's gonna cost you. You need to think through that more. And I always felt kind of uncomfortable with that answer because I am a truth speaker and I believe in telling the truth. So here's the deal. Guess what? You should tell the truth. You should tell the truth. And you know what? The truth is you made 47 mistakes to get to a point where that dinner that your wife made doesn't taste good. You didn't give her feedback six years ago. You didn't, there's a million things that you did wrong that put you in this position. So so that's why we don't tell the truth. The reason we don't tell the truth is because if you tell the truth, what you're gonna be telling is that it is your fault. You know, this is the Charlie Plum thing. When Charlie Plum's like, hey, if my cellmate annoys me, it's my fault. So that's the truth. Yeah. The truth is when Dave says to me, hey, Jocko, is it annoying you that I keep uh, 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 picking my nails while you're talking? The truth is you're not annoying me. The truth is I am being annoyed because I'm allowing myself to be annoyed. And the truth is if I was a good leader, I'd actually be able to get you to stop doing that with your nails during that time. That's the truth. The truth is I should be a better friend and be able to communicate better and have a better relationship with you where I could get you to cease doing things that annoy me. That's the truth. So when you really tell the truth, the truth is it's your fault. So when, he, when somebody says, well, if, Dave's, if Dave uh, is doing a bad job at his job, if he's doing a bad job, should I tell him the truth? Yes, you should. And the truth is, Dave, I haven't given you good direction. Dave, I haven't given you good guidance. Dave, I haven't given you the resources that you need. That's the truth. And if we ultimately get, get to the truth where Dave actually is incapable of doing this job, yes, I should tell him the truth. But we skip all the ones that were our fault along the way. We skip them. And we go straight to it's Dave's fault. <laughs> and that is your ego. Your ego is this, is this demon that has intimate knowledge of your desires and wants and needs. And it knows exactly what it is that you want. That ego will, it will love you to death.